Okay. All right. Okay, everybody, why don't we get going? All right. Welcome, everybody, to our uh, 2023 New Orleans uh, uh, trip class service learning thing. Everybody's super stoked, everybody's here. No energy for. Actually, there's one person who's not here. Oh, who's not? Who's not here? Uh, right. I guess there's an emergency. I don't know. But okay. Okay. Uh, we're almost all here. Okay. Um, um, okay. Great. But thank you for telling. Thank yes, you. Okay. Ready. So, um, so we're gonna uh, tonight. We're just doing like, some logistics stuff, introductions, and logistics stuff. So, welcome everybody. Um, we'll we'll start having meetings after this week about more content, about more actual what we're doing and, and, and uh, background system and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so we have most of us are here. We have a few folks that are joining us uh, from elsewhere and will be joining us in Louisiana, but obviously not everybody's in the state, etc. So. Um, uh, when we have these things, you guys should come, right? Unless you have COVID or something, you guys should come. We'll be doing things like uh, you know, lectures and stuff, but we'll also be starting to go over um, some of the identification of critters and things of that nature um, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, nothing is critical. I might give you guys some suggested, suggested things to watch or read, but there's no tests in this, in this experience, just to remember, right? This is about going and lending our backs and helping and and learning about the school part of our country and helping make it a bit more resilient and all that awesome stuff. But it's not about, it's not about doing anything. The only deliverable you guys have besides going on the trip with us is because this is funded by IRA, supported by IRA, the Instruction Related Activities Committee, which is for people on campus because our experience is away. Um, we have something for, for, um, the folks who can't go on the trip, right? We'd love to take everybody in ESRM, everybody in bio, everybody in psychology, everybody in nursing, but we just, we just can't, right? So um, uh, the only quote unquote deliverable that you guys will have is some communication of some aspect of your experience. And that's it. Most people end up doing a poster, but if you look on the back wall, there's a painting right up there that one of our students did one year. You could do paint, you could do art. Uh, actually, the the... The, the head up there was another piece of art made, um, was that last year or two years ago? Okay, that was last year. Okay, was last year. Um, and black. I just have to highlight athletes, like sketches. Yeah, so, so, so there's people online, you guys can't see this, but so, so I'll just show you guys. So, so this is, this was, um, this is an example of a skull that, that's uh, uh, African-American tradition pre- Thing, uh, Mardi Gras that helped influence Mardi Gras and so she, she copied that and then these are a couple pieces of artwork that some students made in previous years and about the um, uh, uh, refineries and stuff near where we work and all that kind of good stuff so so you guys can do whatever students have made games students have uh, done all kinds of stuff and it's up to you and it's also up to your your major and your interests and your uh, and your passion. So some people might want to do something on architecture. Some people might want to do something about the, the wetland loss. Some people might want to, you know, whatever. So it, it's up to you guys. Um, but that's the only quote unquote deliver. That's the only, you know, quote unquote test like thing we'll have. And what we'll do is after we get back, most of this class is before, and, well, a little bit is before, and then it's mostly over spring break that we do most of our work. We'll come back. There's some data entry stuff we'll need to clean up for a week or two afterwards. And then on April, is it 22nd? I don't know my, my computer will be used. I think it's, is it April 22nd, Zach, except for Tuesday? Uh, sounds right. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll confirm, but I believe it's April 22nd. We will have a, a poster session. And so you guys would present your poster then, or if it's your artwork, we'll display your artwork, and that's it. And that's it. So there's no final or anything after the class. That's our last sort of hoorah thing. Um, that's the structure of our class. Um, uh, real quickly, before we get into introductions and stuff, I'll just make sure we're all on the same page as to what this experience is. This experience grew out of, um, I moved down from the Bay Area to, to help get ESRM going right before Hurricane Katrina hit in 2005. And, um, and 
Uh, those of you that have uh, cons bio with me, I was teaching cons bio, conservation biology and coastal marine management. And all of a sudden all this crazy stuff happened that, you, that we will talk about in future weeks and just insanity and craziness. And it didn't seem real. It was kind of like COVID. Like the stuff was playing out and it was like, what this is like a disaster movie? Like this isn't really an American city, right? It isn't really a city in America where people can't have water for three days. And a reporter from Canada is the first person to give hundreds of people water in a, in a major center. Like that's not, that's like a made up story, right? Like that's not real. And people aren't shooting black folks on a bridge when they're trying to escape flooding, right? And, and that kind of, it just was bizarre. And so, so basically uh, John, who you'll hear from uh, uh, shortly up in Oregon, up in Oregon State and um, uh, my friend Tom, who you'll meet, is at UCLA. Who's driving? Who's supposed to be on? Is he on Zoom yet? No. Nope. Yep. True to form. True to form. Okay. Yeah. So, so, John, so, so uh, anyway, so John, Tom, and I went to um, uh, New Orleans a few months afterwards, and the city was still all destroyed. But we're like, hey, maybe we can do something. Obviously, one of our pillars here at CSUCI is international perspectives, right? And so we had created this fund, this IRA fund that you all pay for with your student fees. Um, and we'd love for everybody at CSUCI to do a semester abroad, but that's expensive. It's logistically be hard to do with family and stuff. So this was our way of trying to get people experiences of other cultures, other places in a way that's you know, at least vaguely affordable. And so at the time, nobody had done anything inside the US. And so I said, hey, can we take a class to New Orleans? They said, oh, this is an international, it's supposed to be for international stuff. And I said, New Orleans is kind of like another country. And they're like, mm, okay. And so we went. And I'll tell you all the stories later, but, but um, it, was, it was crazy to plan. It was crazy to enact. Um, and it ended up being fantastic, a fantastic experience. I thought it was a one-off thing. I thought we were going to go help some folks with rebuilding. And at that time, it was mostly demolishing and stuff. And you know, lend a little hand and then help. And then our partners that were there said, Oh, great, you guys are so awesome. You guys are, you know, an angel. We're so pleased you guys came. We're so happy. We're so fortunate. So next year when you come, and I was like, whoa, 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 what? They're like next year when you come, you watch, I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait, next year. Like, what? Long story short, we've been going every single year since, except for the two years with COVID where we weren't allowed to do any traveling at all. Um, last year we returned, it was a bit chaotic last year because we weren't given permission until right before we were left to actually do the trip. So it was crazy, but basically we're back. Um, and so it's awesome. So we're going to spend about half of, I mean, so we'll get there first day or so, a little bit of introduction, kind of touristy stuff, sort of show you guys around, get you the lay of the land, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we will pivot to start work and we'll work every day. So we'll either be work installing food gardens in places where people don't have access to healthy, affordable uh, food sources, uh, or we'll be working in monitoring our wetlands, uh, the efficacy of our efforts to recover these degraded wetlands just south of the city of New Orleans. Um, and we do that most days, and then we'll run somewhere with our muddy clothes and go hear some jazz music, or we'll go talk to a reporter, or we'll go visit some, some business owner or whatever, and, and we'll hear about what's going on now with the community. How is that? And so our overall questions or overall point of this class is to one, help the recovery of this important part of our country, but it's also for you all to ask why. That's the most important question. Why? Why did Katrina happen? Why did the Deepwater Horizon happen? Why has the recovery gone the way it has? Why have these people been excluded from the benefits, right? So why, why, why? We, you guys will each bring your own things that you're curious about. Maybe you're curious about the biology. Maybe you're curious about the policy. Maybe you're curious about the environmental justice, the art, whatever it is. And so you guys, as we go around, you guys are going to be, you know, taking your, having your own takes on stuff. We will do as much stuff as we can. We jam stuff in. So I'll just say, um, uh, not everybody works as hard as we work on this trip. On our, our, I'll just say another trip that I heard talking about it. Some people say, oh, yeah, they said, we get up early. Oh, no, we don't get up early. We get up fucking early. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, you know, then after my dinner, you guys are no effing way, right? We're busting our butts every single day. We have a very short amount of time to see this awesome part of our country and to help these folks out. And so, um, you know, if we're doing stuff and you're like, you know, doctor, I'm just super tired. I want to go crash tonight. That's fine. 
but but we have all of these opportunities for you guys to engage and, and meet this meet these awesome folks and see for your firsthand what's going on in this part of of the country. So it's going to be awesome. So you're going to come back from spring break like. So um, so we'll go over logistics and, and all that kind of stuff. But first, I wanted to just start with um, making sure we all know each other. So some of most of us are here. Some of us are kind of in Southern California, but a little bit farther away. Some of us are in Oregon. Some of us are in Texas. And uh, we'll kind of all come our different ways and get to Louisiana. Uh, theoretically, we're still working on buying the tickets. Theoretically, it's March 16th we will arrive until we actually buy the tickets. Maybe it's a, it's a little, you know, 12 hours one way or the other, but, but we're shooting to be there on the 16th, so we'll all be there. Uh, these guys from Oregon, I think they're gonna join us a day or two later because they have uh, their, their class schedule and stuff is a little bit different, but they can tell us when we chime on. Um, and that's it. And then we'll be assembled, one or twin powers activate, and we will be charging. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be super, super fun. Do not worry if you're not a botanist. Do not worry if you're not a gardener. Do not worry if you don't know anything about jazz music or whatever. All this stuff, everybody will, 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 will prep you guys for all this stuff. So all you need to do is have interest and passion and that's it. So don't stress out if this isn't my major or this isn't my, I've never done this stuff before. You're gonna be great. Everybody's always great. Uh, and then the other thing to say just by way of logistics is every year's trip is different. So we might do some similar elements, but it's always a change and it's always jazz and it's always improvisation. And I sort of schedule some things and then half the people are like, yeah, I can't do that. And we end up doing something different. So, so um, it's gonna be awesome. The exact, what we're doing on Tuesday at 3 p.m. I can't tell you, um, I have the rough outline. As we get closer, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about what we're doing, but whatever we do is gonna be, it's gonna be great. Um, uh, Dr. Lambrinos, Dr. Huggins, Zach, um, Suzanne, um, have been before, and so so we have a lot of uh, experience um, uh, experienced folks going with us that um, totally know the, the ropes and totally get it, and a lot of support. So it's not it's not just me; I have a lot of help. Um, and the last thing I'll say before I turn it over to start doing introductions is that um, if there's any problems, you guys blame me, right? So if there's any problems, hiccups, complaints, or whatever, send them my way. I want to talk to you. This is not working out, right? Come come complain to me. Right, um, Zach, Tom, John, all these other awesome or awesome collab collaborators. Um, they're totally helping and they're supporting. And normally go to them for questions, but but direct any complaints to me. So I'm the one in charge of whatever's not not going right or or whatever. So these other folks are all lending a hand and helping us. Um, but but if the buck has to stop somewhere, um, get me in trouble, not not those guys. Cool. Sound like plan? All right, great. And with that. Um, the first thing I want to do tonight is, is just start to say, introduce ourselves to each other, just say hello. So um, we have guests online, we're recording this, so folks uh, uh, maybe like Tom, that, that's not watching this, can actually go back and, and learn people's, start to learn people's names and stuff. So um, I'll start, and then we'll just have uh, uh, people start, Megan or whoever wants to start, come up and we'll just, and so talk to us, but make sure you look in the camera a little bit so our friends online can, can see stuff. Once... Uh, sure. And then once once we finish everybody in the room, then we'll kick it over to our, our friends that are that are um, zooming in remotely. Sound good? Okay. So what should we say? I don't know. What should we say? So we should say our name, uh, our major, I guess, or something. Um, I guess if we've been to New Orleans before and something we're we're just curious about or wondering about or. or, 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 or. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like that. That's a good uh, So, or, or, so, 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 um, uh, you know, if you've been to New Orleans before, and then maybe something we're we're really interested in seeing, or have some nervousness about, or are wondering about. So, just something that you're you're hoping to, you know, explore over the course of the trip. Sound good? All right, great. So, uh, hello, everybody. My name's Sean. Uh, most of my students call me Doctor A. You guys can call me whatever you want. Sean is fine. Um, and uh, I've been, my first, the first trip I remember going to New Orleans was like 1993 or something like that. Um, uh, I saw Keb Mo play acoustic in the House of Blues. And I was like, this place is awesome. Um, and, uh, and so I've been going, at least, at, I guess I didn't go annually during the pandemic, but, but before the pandemic, I've been going 
every year or a couple times a year since 2006, basically. Um, and uh, so, yeah, what else do I want to say? Um, so I'm, one of the things I'm curious about this year, so last year it was very, I was very nervous because um, we, we weren't given permission until we, till like almost right before we started. And it was just very challenging. Um, a lot of our partners and friends unfortunately passed away during COVID. Um, one of the things we'll learn about in these disaster situations is, um, you know, it's like, oh my God, the hurricane hit or the earthquake hit or the wildfire hit. And there's first, unfortunately, people that pass away from the immediate problem thing. Um, and that's usually what all the numbers are. How many people died in the fire? How many people died of the crushing waters or whatever, right? Which is a real important thing. But usually we stop counting them. And much of the devastation to lives and stuff happens after that, right? So it's when people are so stressed over not having a job, they enter into domestic violence or, or, or they start drinking or, or they don't have access to great health care. And so they had a little small I don't know, skin cancer on their stomach, but they didn't treat it and then it spread and like that kind of stuff, that, that long tail of the devastation. And unfortunately, a lot of our partners and friends, um, that's the story of some of our partners and friends. So some of our folks have passed away, some of our good friends have passed away. Um, other entities that we worked with no longer exist. So they're, most of these groups that we'll meet with are marginal to begin with, right? They're not rolling in money, these environmental groups, these social justice groups, these these food provisioning groups. And so the pandemic really, you know, marginal kind of sunk a lot of them, including the place where we historically stay. So one of the things that was great about last year's trip was I was, I was, so it was so, so energizing to be back with uh, friends and, and, and the folks that were there. It was very sad for our, our um, friends that weren't there, but things were kind of going. And so it was like, oh my God, they're still around. And so this year, what I'm really looking forward to in this trip is actually starting some new relationships. So, so um, you know, a lot of the things we've had for years and years, which is awesome, but I'm really excited to start meeting some new people um, that maybe will work with us this year and maybe future classes. So that's what I'm looking forward to, new friends, new partnerships, new experiences, in addition to showing all of you guys all the cool places. Cool. All right. Uh, Zach, you want to go next? And then we'll turn it over to students. Sure. All right, cool. And you guys, let me just check real quick. You guys hear okay online? Everything sounds okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. um, I'm Zach. I know all of you. I don't necessarily know all of you yet, but I'm the Instagram Lab Tech. I went last year uh, as a luxury to this job, helped out as much as I could. Um, it was a great trip. What I'm most looking forward to, I guess I could say, is getting my hands dirty again. I had a lot of fun um, out in Buras, just southern tip of southernmost southern Louisiana. Um, we were making uh, building some gardens out there, and it was got real dirty, and it was real fun, hard work, um, and real nice people. Also, just like you guys will see the um, preserve, I guess you call it, the that uh, Woodlands Conservancy owns, and it's freaking amazing um just like if you look at it on a map it doesn't look like much i remember looking at it beforehand and i was like what like there's this okay cool chocolate like, green something yeah and like and you see all this other crap going on around it but like you get like it's uh wilderness and it's really <laughs> cool um so yeah i'm just stoked to hopefully be able to go again hopefully and yeah take it away awesome oh we should just like like Alcoholics Anonymous. So, so when you say your name, I'll go, hey, Megan. So I just say, say hi. Hi, my name is Megan. Hi, hi Megan. Megan. Hi, Megan. Hi, Professor Steve. Um, yeah, I'm Megan. I'm an EMSA major. Uh, this is my last year, last semester. So going out with a bang. There's a couple things I'm excited for. I'm excited for gardening. Definitely going to be type two fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see some cool wildlife there. That will be really awesome. And uh, this is more personal, but exciting. Excited to eat New Orleans food. Let's see what they have to offer. There's yeah. a lot of great food. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Awesome. Yay. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. My name's Jake. Wait, Jake, oh, yeah. a little bit lower so we could. There you go. <laughs> hey, everyone. 
Dave, uh, Professor Spees, how's it going? Um, yeah, my name is Jake. Um, I've never gone to New Orleans. I'm really excited to go, actually. Um, I've always thought, like, New Orleans and just, like, the South in general is, like, a place that I want to go because it's just, like, so full of culture, like, especially in terms of, like, the United States. I mean, just the South. But but even outside of the United States, like, it's a pretty, it's, like, an amazing place just worldwide if you think of, like, the wildlife and, like, the all the wetlands and stuff like that. So that was always the reason that I wanted to go was just like, cause the wildlife there. Um, but now I've started to think more about like the culture and things. Um, and Dr. A mentioned like the music. I didn't even consider that as a thing that I wanted, but now it's all I'm thinking about because it's like <laughs> the birthplace of the blues, which is basically like the birthplace of all of the music in this country, which sounds really cool. So yeah, it sounds really exciting. Um, something I'm a little nervous for is um the hard work because i don't really know what to expect at this point and like hard work sounds a little stressful in my mind but i'm sure it'll be fine um and yeah i'm mostly just really excited to go because i've never gone to new orleans sweet so, yeah. Hi, my name's Clara, and I'm not an alcoholic. Hi, I'm Clara, not an alcoholic. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Spee's. Looking forward to our meeting on Friday. Um, so I'm Clara. I'm a fifth year. This is my last semester. I'm an ESRM major. Um, and I wanted to go on this trip because I've never gone someplace so far away. I'm four. So <laughs> I don't really like go outside of California. So it's like a super unique opportunity. I'm really excited. Um, and so many of my other friends that have graduated were like really heavy hitters in ESRM and they all went and they're just like, it's amazing, but I didn't really get any more information from it. So, <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to go. I'm excited to get my hands dirty and just be in a place that is like not like California <laughs> at all. So it's definitely not California. It's definitely not California. <laughs> so I'm for that. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Hi, I'm M. Um, I'm an ESRM major as well. Um, I've never been to New Orleans or really off of the West Coast of the United States. Um, I am super familiar with California um, in terms of ecologically. I know what's here. I love what's here. Um, but honestly, I'm really excited, especially to go to New Orleans and see what they have there, see what's in their dirt, um, see what I can through binoculars and stuff like that. Um, and excited to do work because that's my favorite thing to do, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, so I mostly, I want to find out what's there. I want to know what they're hiding from me. <laughs> um, yeah. Excellent. There's a lot of hidden things there. And see water in the environment. That would be fun. <laughs> Excellent. There's a lot of water too. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Molly. I'm a first year. Hi, Molly. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I've never been to. Um, I'm also excited to learn about the culture and like the food. I'm really excited for the food. Awesome. Sweet. Everyone. My name's Corelli. I'm an hey, ESR Corelli. <laughs> I'm an ESR major. This is my last semester. Um, I'm looking forward, just like everybody else. I've never been. I've never been to New Orleans, and I want to experience that new culture. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to, like everybody else, getting their hands dirty. I'm looking forward to um, agriculture and everything. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Hello, my name is Karina Sanchez. I'm an ESR major. Hi, Karina. This is my last semester, and I'm just really excited to just learn about the culture, the differences in, in lifestyle. I've never been out of state, so I just want to, you know, just see the difference. I really, really excited. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jessica. I'm an ESR major. 
Hi, my name is Violeta Rivas. I'm from Chile. Hi, Violeta. Hi, Violeta. This is my first time going to New Orleans. Um, I've been to a few different states, and it's really nice to see the difference between all of them. I mean, yeah. It's crazy. Um, I'm yes, right, major. Yeah, that is good. And then, and then, uh, what you're okay? So you're anything else you're interested in seeing? Uh, so, wildlife, cool. music, food, um, yeah. everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Denise. I'm Hi. the Hi Denise! <laughs> I'm the SRF major. Um, I'm graduating this semester, so definitely going out with the bang. And I've heard a lot of good things about New Orleans, never been. My family really loves it. They've gone oh, there cool. so many times and they're always wanting me to go and experience the, the French Quarter, and the jazz music and everything. And I'm really excited to see not only that, hopefully, <laughs> um, totally. but also, yeah, to see the wetlands, the different ecologies out there, the wildlife. And I'm really excited to get my hands dirty. I love working on things. Um, excited for gardening. Um, I love looking at soil health and stuff like that. And cool. Yeah, just excited about it all. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> hi, my name is Aurora, but but I go by Aura. Hey, Aura. Uh, um, I'm an ESRM major, third year, so graduating spring 24. Um, what I'm really excited about this trip is that for me personally, I feel like my interest in environmental science lives at an intersection, so social justice and also, you know, STEM, so looking at the ecosystems and how they interact, but most importantly, how it interacts with uh, other humans and how we see injustices in society. So very much at the intersection. So I'm very excited to go to New Orleans, New Orleans, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, uh, it's it's been, yeah, that's good. <laughs> New Orleans is how like, a lot of local people will say, yeah, um, but it's all good. But um, I'm really excited because I feel like it's really rich in culture um, and also bio, so much biodiversity. So I can't wait to get both best of both worlds uh, by going there. Um, something that I'm kind of nervous slash excited for is being out in the field. Uh, the reason why I joined this class was because I took field methods with mm -hmm. Professor Spies, and it was fun. I liked it, <laughs> even though there was a few trips that I was just like, oh wow, I don't know if I really want to do this. So, uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, type two fun. I can't wait to see some type two fun. <laughs> There's a yeah. lot of time to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god, bad, bad time. Okay, you guys are good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That was just that was type two fun we just had right there. That's all. How about that? That's good. Okay, cool. Hi, my name is Katie. Hi, Haley. Um, I'm also an ESR major. I'm a senior. This is my last semester, so I'm really excited for this trip. Uh, I'm really looking forward to all the different ecosystems that we're going to see and just the different culture. I've never been to that part of America, so I feel like that'll be different um, just in a whole aspect. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Awesome. My name is Heather. Hey, um, Heather. Um, I'm an ESRM major. This is my third year. I'm just looking forward to seeing wetlands, biodiversity, the music, food. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> All right, great. All right. So uh, let us. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna mute this, and we'll turn the microphone off there. And then, uh, why doesn't uh, maybe Brenton start? So let me just. Hold on, mute this so we don't. Uh... Can you guys hear us okay if we talk? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, take it away. Brent, you want to go? Uh, sure. Hello, team. Um, my name is Brenton. Um, 
I've known many of you for in field methods. We're gonna have tons of type two fun, which you know I love. Um, I uh, I've been in ESRM since 2017, and I, I've heard so much about these trips, and I've I've seen all these poster sessions. So I've always wanted to to join. And if you know me, you know the two things I love the most are gardening and wetland ecology. So this is super super exciting for me. I'm I'm really excited to. To explore. I've never I've been to New Orleans once for a conference, the joint meeting of, of ichthyology and herpetology. Um, it was back in I think 2016 or 2017. It was like a week-long conference. So I really got a, a good kind of we it was right in the middle of French Quarter. Um, got a got a lot of, of different types of, of food and, and music um experiences, but I'm I'm super excited to get more and um, I'm really excited about exploring uh, a wetland in the south. I've, I've all of my wetland ecology that I've been doing for the past 15 years or so has all been on on the west coast or or in Baja. Um, so super excited to get down to the south and check out all the systems. Of course. Yeah. Excited. Uh, uh, Suzanne, you want to go next? Sure. Uh, I know you probably can't see me. Sorry. I'm, it's cold up. It's cold outside. Uh, it's, it's almost nine. Uh, it's almost nine o'clock. I'm here in Texas. Uh, I actually just had to drive to work, so I had you guys. Uh, so I had you guys on my speaker. Um, <laughs> so I'm living in Texas right now. Uh, living in Houston. Um, I actually was a student last year. Uh, I was part of the team. I uh, graduated in May. So if you guys have any questions about graduation or are scared about that feel free to hit me up. I have zero qualms about answering any questions. Um, last year, the trip was awesome. I'm so stoked to see such a large group this year. This is this is rad. Um, I loved every single second of the trip, um, hence why I'm coming back this year to help out. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to meet all you guys. Um, I'm terrible with names and I apologize, uh, but I will do my best to eventually learn them all when I see you. So. Uh, and then, uh, John, you guys wanna go from Oregon? Hello everyone, I'm John. Um, I, I'm was an, I was an integrative biology major. I'm not sure what that means exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a horticulture department now. Uh, and I've been on the trip, as Sean said, uh, several times, uh, several times, and I've, I've been to New Orleans, I guess I uh, started going to New Orleans a few years before Katrina, so I've been to New Orleans and specifically on this trip a lot, but one of the things I'm really looking forward to every year is just everything, because everything is so different from year to year. Um, you know, even the friends we meet who are friends we've been seeing for a while there's new things that happen in their lives we always meet new friends and even like basic things like the state of the forest that we're working in and so that's always changing from year to year to the point that um, Dr. Huggins and I often spend the first few days arguing with each other about how each of us don't remember the tree species anymore <laughs> trying to figure out what the what the trees are uh, so I'm looking forward to the trip. Um, I guess that's sort of uh, one of the trepidations or fears I have about the trip is so some years if it's been cold, none of the trees have leafed out. So this is a deciduous forest. And so there have been years when there's basically no leaves on the trees, which makes identifying trees a little bit challenging. Um, so that's one fear. <laughs> Um, hi guys, I'm Christian. Um, I'm a horticulture hi, major. Hey guys, um, I'm a horticulture major, and I uh, have been to New Orleans before, but it was uh, pre uh, my nature phase, so I was definitely there just to see Bourbon Street. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to uh, see some some ecology. Um, I'm excited to uh, flex my horticulture muscle and do some urban gardening. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to eating some crawdaddy, some crawfish, some po' boys. I love the cuisine. Uh, I love the culture of New Orleans. It's definitely unique. And uh, one of my fears is I am the only person from Oregon State going. So uh, 
please feel free to introduce yourselves. I promise I don't bite. Just say hello. And, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked to just, uh, I don't have a lot of ecology experience. So I'm excited to kind of learn what field research and data collecting is all about. But yeah, and overall, just uh, uh, get away from cold Oregon and, and see some some different flora, fauna, and all, all that stuff. So yeah, just super stoked to travel and and, and do some gardening. But yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, thanks, man. Is is uh, is uh, is Tom okay? Yeah, Tom's good. Yeah, classic Tom is not here. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, please and just ask you a question. How many people like black blackberries? <laughs> cool. <laughs> We'll come back. Everybody raise their hand. Awesome. Okay, great. So um, wait, which one am I talking? Which this wait? This one? Maybe I should talk to this one now. Maybe I'll talk. No, but but I'm on this one. Right? Right. You guys, you guys can hear me. You guys in you guys online can hear me here, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. So great. So the main thing we want to do now is just say hello, get everybody to start meeting each other. I understand names are hard for some of us, and we'll we'll be working on it. We'll be learning everybody's names, and that's all cool. So um the last little bit of tonight, um, I just wanted to go over some logistics stuff. So get us, there's various tools we will use. Um, and it's just nice to sort of get stuff mostly set up before we, before we go. And so I'll run through those uh, in, a, in a second. Um, but I wanted to ask, does anybody have any burning questions? Is there anything that people are really, like we're starting to get ready to go and I'll go through some logistics in a sec, but is there anything that um, you guys are really, really like, I just need to know X, M. It's in the Slack. If you go into Slack, it's it's a it's a link you guys can click on. Okay, so, okay. so those are the things I wanna work on today. So these things are just a lot easier when we're in the same room and we can help get stuff turned on. So all that, um, so, I'll talk to you a little bit more. We'll go through that. And if you're stuck on one of those things, I'll, you can leave us to hang another minute or two and I'll help you guys uh, get, get invited or get, get uh, activated on the tools. So, so, so good. Other, other questions or other burning things people are having um, questions about or issues. Okay, cool. Um, so um, uh, yeah, so I'll go over the list in a second. But let me first, uh, I'm going to kill our recording since that's mostly what I want to talk about. And we're going to have a great old time. So let me do, yeah. 